Kowalski for EA Sports as the Islanders take to the ice, a team born in 1972 and have been making noise since. Both teams lined up in the middle. We are ready to get things underway. The Sharks get off to a good start as they win the opening faceoff. And that's a great read to force the turnover. Takes the feed from off the wing. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Eklund's got it into offensive territory. Fires it on net. The goalie's best friend comes up big again as it goes off the outside of the frame. Gotta love offense, James, and the ability to score goals. And this one just goes right off the pipe. That's frustrating. Slides it over with pace to Thompson. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Oh, he stopped it. What a save on the play. And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save incredible, James. A quick pass across to Dobson. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Duclair's carrying it ahead. Takes the puck at the point. And that's a smart heads-up play by Nelson. Now a quick pass to Paul Mary. Shot! Oh, tried to put it in the corner and just missed that one. Well, hockey is a game of inches and a great shot just misses. The Islanders will serve two minutes in the box. Power play unit comes out for the faceoff. First power play of the game and an opportunity to go up by one. And analytics will tell you, when you score first, chances are you win the game. Moves it to the middle. Here's a shot, and he lays out to block that one. Oh, a power play goal in the back of the net. This is a great power play goal, James. They have the execution in terms of their passing along the outside, and then they attack the net with a shot. You have to have net front presence and create a screen. That's exactly what they have, and they capitalize as a result. San Jose's efforts pay off as they get the game's first goals. We inch closer to the midway mark of the first. Yeah, and they're inching closer and closer to more goals here as they get the first one of the game. And sometimes scoring is a struggle, James. But when you put one by the tender, often it comes in bunches. Paul Mary's got it along the boards. New York's trying to make something. Oh, he saved it. What a stop. Now that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and send a clear message to his team that he's behind him. He's going to be the foundation tonight. As we look at that last save again, James, it is absolutely incredible and so impressive to see a goaltender just out-battle and out-will his opponent to find the puck. Here in the back half of this period, the Sharks have taken a 1-0 lead. Coonan's won the faceoff. And he slides it quickly to Hoffman. The Sharks played along the wing. Oh, the sauce on that pass. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Moves it to Romanov. Battling for it along the boards. New York's got a hold of the puck now. What a steal in his own end. Loses his balance on the play. Puck scooped up by Dobson. Pass across to Holmstrom. Dumps it in. The Sharks have it now. Quick feed to Granlin. Takes a shot. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Sorokin. Hurdles usually scouted before any key matchup because he's a special player and a good point getter. Here in the late going of the frame, 1-0 is where we sit at this point. New York's going to start with the puck in their own end. Moves it over to Holmstrom. And a smart heads-up play to poke that away by a point check. Addison's moving the puck through his own zone. Zetterman's going to play it against the half wall. Sends it out front, and he denies that great opportunity there. A 
Official signals for the players to get into position, and we're about ready to drop the puck. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Winding down the final minute of this opening frame. Picked up along the wall by Horvat. Great use of the stick here at center ice. First period is in the books. The next 20 minutes is on deck next here on EA Sports. Well, let's see what period two has in store for us as they are about to drop the puck. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. The Sharks are putting on a shooting clinic out there right now. Real entertaining game to watch. The coach will be real happy about being opportunistic and taking shots. We're still in the early stages of this period. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. San Jose's won it, now they'll go on the attack. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. New York's been disrupting play all night long and this is because of their stick position. You have to find ways to be aware and anticipate where that puck is going to be going. They're doing a great job, but this is still a close one. They've got to find a way to generate some offense. The Sharks win the draw. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. The Sharks scoop it up along the boards. Gets a hold of the puck from the right side. Quick feed to Eklund. There's a great glove save by Sorokin. He's got the lead on the scoreboard. A big reason to that has been the amount of pucks that they've been putting on net. The Islanders win the draw. We got a whistle. Penalty coming up. Up by one, and you take the penalty, applying some pressure to the PK unit here as a power play as an opportunity to get the equalizer. The Islanders will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. Well, a timely power play at this juncture of the game, James, to even it up. This is huge for this power play. Your big stars, they need to shine. And he slides it quickly to involve. The Sharks gain possession of the defensive zone. New York's gain possession along the boards. Engvall's into the offensive zone now on the attack. Stopped by the goaltender. Kakanen's gonna hang on for the whistle here. It's been a ho-hum night for him. Well, it really has. He hasn't been tested, but it is a close game, and he's got to come up big. He has to stay dialed in and focused in this one. Barzell's ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. Hurdles won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Puck slid down the ice. Solid check to slow him down. With the blast! Oh, what a save on the slapper! New York's regained possession of the puck. From the left side, takes it at center. Fires it! Scores! And we are tied after that power play mark. Well, it's perfectly executed, and the coach has the most skilled offensive players out there for that very reason. They tied the game. This is actually a tougher play than it looks, James. You have to have timing and an awareness to be able to get your stick on that rebound and then bury it. Not a lot of time and space available, but he executes perfectly. Nearing the midway mark of the period, we are all tied up in this one. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. 
Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Lee's got the pop. Sends it in front. quiet shot, James, and that means is the goaltender can't see it. So he's listening for it, and it buzzes right by him because he cannot catch up to it, can't find it with his eyes, and can't find it with his body. The Islanders, through their hard work and tenacity, have taken a one-goal lead here in the second. It's certainly better to play with the lead, James, but you know that there's a lot of one way left, and your opponent is going to come pushing and pressing. This game has been tight all the way around, and I expect that it will continue to be. Slides the puck to declare. Broken up by Dobson. Passes on over to Horvath. Here they come on the attack. And that one's denied. Tries to get it over to Granlin. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Through center along the wing. Takes it into the slot. Oh, pokes it away. Gutsy move, but it pays off. Cheryl. And I'm right there with you, James. I wouldn't want to be along those boards either. It almost looked like he left his feet early, but nonetheless, it's a bone crusher. Past the halfway mark of this period, New York's got a one-goal lead. And now it's grabbed by LeBanc. Makes the glove stop. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Kellick's an effective stick checker in his own zone, guys, and that helps out his team's defensive game. We call that his stick-em-up zone ability, and it's what helps disrupt his opponent's attack. The Sharks will start off on the attack after winning the draw. That opportunity is rejected. New York's got a hold of the puck. Quick shot! Blocked in front. From off the wall and onto a stick. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. Here's a short pass to Carpenter. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. New York's got the puck behind the net. The Islanders play it along the boards. Shot! Turned aside with the glove by Kakanen. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Here in the late goings of the period, it's a 2-1 game. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Quick pass to Holmstrom. Shaves the puck away. And less than a minute to go here in the middle frame. Moves it quickly over to Pajo. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Takes it along the wall by Gautier. And there's the horn bringing the second period to an end. All right, they say three is the magic number. Period number three is coming up next. When your team wins, you win $10 off at Bob's. Bring tonight's ticket to any local Bob's Sporting Goods for a coupon that's good for $10 off your next purchase. Two down, one to go. Third period, they're ready to drop the puck. Final frame is underway here. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? The Sharks need to limit the turnovers if they're going to get back in this game, James. They're down after two periods because they haven't been able to manage the puck. They've been back on their heels, and they're forcing plays all over the ice. Ferraro's lugging the puck. Slick feed. Feed to the middle, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Handles the puck at the point. Every coach is going to tell you, get in front of the goaltender and take away their eyes. It's the goaltender's job to find the puck. He finds it and makes the save. Lots of time left in this period. It's 2-1. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. New York's on the attack. The Sharks have it against the wall. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. New York's got the puck. Here they come up along the wing. 
but picked up by Horton. Stops the rocket of a shot. Slides the puck over. San Jose is on the attack. Taken by Nelson. Grabbed along the board by Engvall. Dunks the puck in. Moves it to Granlin. San Jose's got it along the wall. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Cut into the front of the net, and that banks off a stick. Romanov's taking it from his own end. On man rush, and a stick breaks that up. And he takes the feed. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. And he denied that opportunity. Turn that chance aside. Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. The Sharks have the advantage in shots tonight, but they still find themselves trailing here in the third period. And they win the draw here in their own end. The Islanders pick up steam and are on the attack. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. It's these types of games where you kind of shake your head and say, is there ever going to be a goal? And you get endless opportunities around the net and you can't finish. Often the stick gets a little bit tighter as you want that one so bad you can almost taste it and it's not just going in. the pedal to the metal. New York's in the driver's seat now, up by two in this third period. Oh well, yeah, and it's been a consistent effort from start to finish here, James. Now they gotta make sure that they play this last little bit the same way they started. Aggressive on the puck, but be cautious when they need to. Sometimes the simple play is the effective one. Bruna's got it in the offensive zone. Picked off. But this time of the game, you know the coach is in your ear. You gotta find a way to make a good puck decision. Get it in. Well, that was put on a tee, and that one timer was a rocket. Well, he nailed it, didn't he, Jim? Perfect weight transfer. Beat the goaltender clean. I love when offense is generated from below the goal line. All of the coverage is facing the puck, and he gets lost in coverage in that slot area and just fires it home. The Islanders continue to bring up the score here in period number three. Well, it's just been a terrific collective effort. Now they're on the home stretch, and the coaching staff has a real opportunity to utilize their bench, rest their star players, and this is critical when you're in a long season. To his teammate, scores! Talk about swing on the finish with that one! The game has so many swings of momentum, and you always look to your leadership to make a difference, and that's exactly what he does when he puts this goal on. He's contagious. He's infectious when it comes to energy, and there's another example. The Islanders are sending a clear message that they are not taking their foot off the gas in this third period here, Cheryl. Well, you can certainly tell that they bought into the game plan, and the coach is certainly ecstatic with the performance of the entire bench. I mean, look at the way they're moving and holding the puck, attacking the net at the right times. It has been a seamless effort. Puck grab by Addison. The Islanders gain possession along the wall. Nearing the final minute of the third. Just here in the late stages of this frame, New York's turned this into a blowout, now leading by four. The Islanders win the draw, now let's see what they can do with it. Oh, just goes off his glove and it stays out. Passes over to Bailey. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. And that goes off a player. Horvat's got it in the defensive end. And the fans on their feet recognizing a solid victory here in front of them. And there's the final horn, putting a bow on this one here this evening. The Islanders weren't exactly playing with the puck and the stick for the majority of this one, but they still picked up the win here, Cheryl. Uh, there's the difference. You can have the puck on your stick and be on the perimeter, or the few times you have it on it, you can be in the interior and get a good 
scoring chance, and that's exactly what they did, and they capitalized. Well said. Well, that puts a bow on the night here this evening from all of us here at EA Sports. I'm James Cebulski. See ya.